Okay, just another quick one on the Iron Cross Second Class, 1939 version. Just a quick overview of the reverse and obverse. Very nice medals. So, the Iron Cross was instituted in 1813 by Kaiser Wilhelm III of Prussia. They have been reinstituted a few times throughout the years. Once in 1870 for the Franco-Prussian War, 1914 for the First World War, and 1939 for the Second World War. So the main ways these change from First World War and before ones is the ribbon. Uh, usually it's a black stripe up here, but they have changed that to red to fit with Nazi Germany's colours. And then also on the front, where you'd normally have a crown, the royal cipher, of who's, you know, in control at the time. You've just got a swastika with the date. So, very simple design. 1939 is the year that these were reintroduced for the Third Reich. And then on the back, you've still got your 1813, which is the original year of introduction, way back in the day. Um, this one's an unknown maker. Um, you could probably still find out who made it, but I am not quite sure. But I'll show you some things to look for when buying one of these. So, the first thing is, the first thing I always check is the sides of your cross. You should be able to see a very fine line running up the side where they were brazed together, like that. And if you see that little line in there, that's always a good indication that this is an authentic one. As going through the effort to mount a back piece of silver frame, a front piece of silver frame, with the iron core in the centre, is a lot of work to reproduce something, and it's usually easier to take a mould and cast it in one piece. So that's what you'll find most of the time. Also, a good indication, which isn't always identifiable, is if you've got a loose center iron core like this one. You can see it jiggling around a bit, especially if I shake it. But that just shows you again that it's made out of a three-piece construction, which is a great sign, really. Um, also, another way to tell is you can usually slip a piece of paper under these beading corners here. Um, I don't have any on me right now, so I can't really show you that but it's pretty much just a way to identify if the core is separate from the frame. You just slip it under one of these corners. And if it can go under, move freely, then once again, it looks like you've got a three-piece construction, which is what we want. So a lot of the World War II ones have a real nice, strong black finish left on them still, which is great, as a lot of the World War I ones have been scratched up and you know, they're flaking off and things, but these are really high quality main pieces. So that's just a basic of the Iron Cross second class and what you sort of want to look for when purchasing one. They're, uh, they're a great piece to collect because there's hundreds of different makers and variations and yeah, you know, it's a good piece.